So today's job is to install solar panels. I've got eight bolts which I need to cut shorter, but I don't have electricity. So I've come to my storage unit and the lady in reception has agreed to let me steal some. Now I've got eight of these, which I'm going to center. So these here will go on either side of the panel. So that will be panel one. And then this will be panel two on the roof racks. Why the f is only seven? Because the eight ones here. Imagine this is the van. Front, rear. This will be on the roof racks I've put on. So the uni strut. These bolts will go through into the uni strut with a spring washer and some Loctite adhesive. These ones will go through this panel here, into the panel. The solar panel thing on this bar, which will go from there, right through to there. On the side of the solar panel, I have these which are just flat bar. That will just strengthen the entire panel. So that's the theory. I don't have a ladder, so I've come to a place with a wall, parked next to the wall. Two hours later. So yesterday I was filming and the battery room flat. Either way, got a fresh battery and a fresh SD card in now. I'm going to do the second panel on the roof now. The same way as I did the first one. Should go slightly quicker because I know what I'm doing now. So first of all, I need to drill a 12 mm hole through the side of this panel. So we'll start with a 5 mm I've marked it out. When you drill a panel, there is 10 mils double insulation on the um, aluminium. So it's best to go 10 mils as your border. was the first skin. That's the second skin. Now I'm going to go up to an 8 mm hole. Thank you. 
I'm going to repeat that on the other side. That now is a tube all the way through, which will give it a hinge so I can tilt them. So that will just give it additional strength because this is where it's going to be hinging on. Now if I could just find another bloody nut. <sighs> I don't know what's happened with my filming. I keep forgetting to push the record button out of practice. So basically, that is an M10 nut that goes into the Unistrat. This is an M8 nut that goes into a Riv nut which is on the panel. Now on that side, we have an M10 nut going into the Unistrat and we have an M10 nut going into the tube that runs right the way down. I've also put that steel reinforcement and then there's an M10 nut that's 100 mils goes into that tube bolted on the other side of the bracket with a, a nylon lock nut and then goes in. So that can't come out. That is on a spring washer that goes in. And then if I need to tilt the panel, I need to undo this nut, the M8 nut, on this side and that side. And then I could tilt this up. And I've made it tiltable to 85 degrees. So it's getting dark very quickly at the moment. So I'm gonna make this quick. The panel I finished off today, I'm much happier with than the one I did yesterday. When when I was doing the first one, I, I made it so that it tilted just over the Unistrot, but there is a bolt that sticks out and it catches. So I've moved it to the one side ever so slightly, so it's it's bolted tight on that side, and this side is going to be more 
room for an awning later on or something like that. All the holes that are exactly the same, they're in the same place. I need to get up there, recut the same length bars and then um, re-bolt it on. The plan is, the reason why they're easily tilted is to get an actuator arm and put it between the two. An actuator arm can push it up and then tilt it, activate it by switching it on, then you switch it down the other way, it will come down. I still need to do some investigating, so right now it's manual and it's bolted down securely. So it's off my bed, means I've got my bed back tonight. So thank you for watching, I hope it's given you some um, ideas, maybe don't just go fixed solar panels because during the winter you'll get a lot more out of them if you can tilt them. The easier you can make them tilt, the better, because getting up there every time and undoing four bolts is not my idea of um, ease of use. But the plan is to make it easier later on. Thanks for watching. Keep well, keep safe and keep camping. Cheers.